All right, everybody, we are here. We are live. This is the Unique Persona 13, JP, coming to you with the JP Pod. And as you can see, we are featuring our good friend Billy from CMB Knows on YouTube. Uh, if you like what you see, tap your screen, hit the likes, hit the follows. We're just going to get into a lot of Christmas talk, and we're also enjoying right now. We are uh, enjoying right now a beat that my brother Lou Screw put together for this uh, epic podcast. Um, hats off to Lou Screw. Check him out on Instagram. Check him out on uh, here on TikTok. And, um, you know, hopefully we can talk to him one day. But with that being said, we're going to jump into the next window. Uh, like Santa jumps through a chimney, I guess. And we're going to get right into the JP pod. And here we go. What is up, everybody? Let me go ahead and turn down this music and get right into it. Here we go. What is up, everybody? This is Unique Persona 13. And right now, we got my special guest, Billy from CMB Knows. How are you doing, brother? Can you hear me, JP? I can hear you uh, loud and clear, brother. All right, brother. Uh, I'm sorry. Merry Christmas. Uh, no problem on my, on my end over here. <laughs> it's been a struggle. This 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 whole process has been a struggle. What what can I say? Uh, yeah. Uh, Captain Moron Gaming. Merry come quietness to you too. Well, first, well, first thing. Let, let's go ahead and start off. Let's encourage our viewers to share the live. Tap that screen, y'all. Uh, comment. Merry Christmas. I mean, I know it's. It's it's coming up. It's uh, Monday, right? Christmas Day. That's right. So Christmas Day. We want to talk about it and and look at this. We got the 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 crazy backgrounds here from our guest Billy. What do you got going on there, man? What what's what is that? Man, I, well, it looks like somebody straight doing some exercise in there, brother. Hey, nothing <laughs> wrong with a little cardio. Um, the Christmas snacks. Oh my God. Let's talk about that for a second. Well, what is, nothing. wait, wait a minute. Hold up. Honestly, what is one of your favorite cook, uh, Christmas snacks? Pecan pie. Pecan pie. Yeah. Pecan pie. Yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Uh, the, the, you say tomato, I say tomato, uh, routine. Um, anyways, yeah. Pecan pie is pretty good. Got the uh, the whole forestry thing going there. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. That's pretty, actually. That's actually really nice. Uh, well, you know, um, nothing. I you know. I will have to say one of my favorites is the uh, the butter cookies and the little tin can. Butter cookies, yes, yes. I, if you if you remember, Mr. John. Our good friend, Mr. Oh, John. Yeah, yeah, Brother John. Yes, yeah, yeah. Brother John used to come to the store. I hadn't seen him in a couple shoot, It's been over maybe a year and a half. I hadn't seen him. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, you know, he's come to the store there for a while. Uh, he had COVID twice um, back a year ago. You know, he had COVID twice. Uh, they, they had taken him to Ruston, to Lincoln Hospital up in Lincoln, uh, Lincoln Parish. Oh, wow. Uh, he paid him for, yeah. Uh, um, I hope he's doing all right. But anyways, I was going to yeah, say, I was, I was going to say that, uh, brother John, he used to, uh, every like Christmas year that I, that I can remember, you know, working in the past, uh, around him, he, uh, he'd bring out those, uh, tin cans of like little butter cookies. And yeah, oh my yeah, God, yeah. those things are addictive. I don't know what they put, yes. there's the special ingredient in there. Crack, but crack, yeah, crack. exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, it, it it very might well be. I mean, there's got to be some dopamine in those cookies, cause oh my goodness, yeah. You talk about a paradise in a can. Wow. Um, another thing is the assorted popcorns. What about that? 
Yes, I like the sauce. Uh, uh, mine is probably the caramel and maybe the oh, what is that other flavor? It's another flavor. It's like three flavors or four flavors in a can, but caramel is one of my favorite ones. You know, my brother the other day actually, uh, well, it was a couple of days ago, he had uh, got me one of those things. I'm not lying. That stuff was gone in two days. It had, it, it's, it's his fault. It's his fault. If he, uh, I'm just going to put that out there. It's his fault because loose screw's fault. it's loose screw's fault. Yes. It's loose screw's fault because there's butter popcorn in there. One of my favorites. There's white cheddar popcorn. Yeah. Another one of my favorites. And then there's caramel. Your fault, Carmel. loose screw. Your fault. You know, a dressing is not uh, complete without cranberry sauce. You don't like cranberry sauce? Something wrong with you. you, you I like your own. I like cranberry juice. Uh, I enjoy yeah. it. Um, now cranberry sauce. That's uh, what do you put on that? Will you put it on dressing or you put it on? Uh... Yeah, dressing. Yes, 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 yes. I like oh, you, okay. you know turkey dressing, chicken dressing. But, hey, you can't. Hey, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Christmas dinners for me can can vary. Uh, some days it's like uh, pizza and wings, and another day it's like uh, you know a, a family feast with uh, you know holiday ham and you know um, mashed potatoes and gravy. So, oh my goodness! Well, that's what we're, that's what we're doing. That. Um, we're going to the uh, we're going over the Oak Road with some you know some family members, and we're going. That's awesome. Uh, have a good, yeah, yeah. Um, well, we got some disappointing news today. You know, our grandbaby came in um, for thank, uh, for Christmas, but you know, come find out they got to have some car uh, car work done to the car. It's gonna call. I gotta I, okay. I gotta ask: Are you one of those that, that care for those carolers that come to the doors? Uh, you know, I like you know, I like a little singing there and there. You know, uh, well, Factor Church. Uh, choir went out this past week and done the caroling at some of these people's houses. So, yeah, I kind of like it. How about you, JP? Uh, I've never had carolers at my door per se, but I do like going to the the concerts, uh, the little concerts that they have for like the high schools right. and middle schools and stuff right. like that. Um, the parades. Some are good, some are bad. I mean, yeah, we've had the Redneck Christmas Parade and. Sometimes they're pretty fun, and then there's other times where I think I got to wear a helmet. Because well, that's about what that's about the twelfth year, I think. They will throw anything out, out on you yeah, on those. Yeah, yeah. Like I, you Maybe. give these people, you give these people some floats, and 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 Lord knows they're gonna throw anything they possibly can. Like uh, they've thrown ramen noodles, toilet paper. I was afraid to my life. I thought they were gonna throw a rat trap or something. Like, well, God help me. Uh, they they uh, they go crazy with that sometimes. Yeah. They actually threw a jug of uh, water one time. Wow. They threw a jug. I'm not kidding. They threw a jug of water, and it didn't go far. Here's the funny thing. It didn't go far. It just dropped and then got ran over by the next float. Where do you think it was water? Do you think it might be moonshine? No, uh, you never know. You never Hang know. Hang about JP. Out there. Where's it coming from? Okay. Enough said about them. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> um, favorite Christmas movies. Uh, let's get into the Christmas movie uh, there, uh, JP. What's your favorite Christmas movie? One of them. Look, a lot of people are going to uh, disagree with me because they're uh, not fond of political figures. And I get it. That's fine. But it's both Macaulay Culkin, Joe Pesci, and, and Daniel Stern that has always got my attention in both Home Alone and Home Alone Lost in New York. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. There was a certain politician that most people don't like was on the show. Yeah, for about two seconds. Didn't change the movie for me one bit. I mean, also had uh, greats like Rob Schneider in there. And they also had uh, Tim Curry. So the movie, 
you know, th there's there's so many other cast members in that movie, Lost in New York. I'm sorry, I'm going on a rant right now, but Lost in New York was an epic. It was a funny, hilarious movie. No, th this it was. this this right here is going. You know, this this is legit. This is what a podcast is all about. You know, getting it out there, and, and the way I see about it, screw the politics. It was a good movie. I, I agree. Like, I, I hate when people sit there and they disrespectfully, uh, like, just mock a movie just because a certain individual was in it. Like, okay, uh, what about Police Academy? Wasn't O.J. Simpson in there? Mm, I would have to do some research on that. I, I think. Oh it no, was. not not not. Uh, it was Naked Gun. Naked Gun. I'm sorry. Naked Gun. Yes. One, two. One, OJ two, Simpson three. was in there, right? Yeah. Yes. He okay. Was, was you didn't dick. see them blur his face or anything like that, so. Sure. Because because you know. I guess that's because it's you know so left. The United States has got so left wing and so left. You know, instead of going right, or call it right down the middle. It's more left, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, well, if you know, you know, and we'll we'll leave it at that. But yeah, I mean, I don't get no political on here on the podcast. Yeah, so yeah, you know, but but that, that, that that's a fair a statement. Story. That that is a fair that statement to make. Story. No, Billy, all all respect. That is a fair thing to say because you know everyone has their beliefs. They have their own personal point of view, and in respect of that, uh, I don't I don't sit there and you know fully disregard what anyone says you know me personally i don't you know go either way uh you know as far as like uh politics are concerned but i don't i don't want people you know to feel like it's a it's a crime to you know to be that way you know if they want to be a, a republican or a democrat that's on them case closed but back well, to home uh back to christmas movies okay mine now, Home Alone and Home Alone 2, I, I like both movies, okay? Very, it was very well, I guess, produced. Right. Very well. It, you know, it, it, it was hilarious. Was, it, yeah, it, 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 it was hilarious and also uh, with the theme of Christmas, okay? Oh, yeah. There was a, 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 a much more stronger, uh, vibrant feeling of Christmas throughout the second one. True. But... For me, I, I I like the original screw um the uh, a Christmas Carol. The original Christmas Carol, yeah. That that one yes. uh wasn't that uh the guy who played uh uh Captain Picard on uh, Star Trek or something like that? No, I'm talking about the original with the black and white version, not the not the color color version. You know, they've done like th that's like three versions of, but it's like one version is bl like black and white. I'm okay. not. I'm not familiar with that one. I'll be honest. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, but, but I mean, if you get, if you go back and look, and then you look at you know the second one, they follow the same pattern. Okay. But, you know, it's, you know, um, I think about when when, they, when black and white. That was what 1950s, late uh, early 60s, maybe before color TV came. You know, color came in. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the the quality of the film was very bad. Yeah, well, but, 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 but it was a good show. It was good. It got to its point, you know. So you have to read the book of uh, A Christmas Carol by um, Dickinson, Charles Dickinson. Yeah, Charles Dickinson. Yes. Yeah. Uh, if you read the book, uh, a lot, you know. And I'm sorry, I'm just going on a rant here. No, you're good. You're good, man. We're we're, we're making good time. Uh, when when you go when a pop when you go with a movie based on a book, thirty percent of that book would not be put in the movie because if, if they used the whole book as a movie, it'd be a four five to six hour movie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Pet Cemetery. If they went by the book. It being like a four, seven, eight uh, hour movie, which you know it was only a, what about two and a half hour movie, maybe three at the most. That's a lot of stuff was you know cut out of the book from the movie. You know, the old man across the street, you know, he had a wife in the book. If you read the book, 
but in the movie, I don't have my wife. Okay, my point made there. Can All right, Billy. Money? Here, here's, here's, here's the, here's the tricky question. Are you ready for this? I'm listening. You might be sweating bullets on this one, okay? Okay. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Yes. Okay. Think about it. Look at the theme of it, okay? It was shot around Christmas time. Yeah, absolutely. But, here you go. The Hollywood, you know, people in Hollywood... Says no, it's not a Christmas movie, but it is a Christmas movie. Movie, it, 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 you know, like I said, tomato, tomorrow. Oh yeah, I mean, but but all wrapped around it, it is definitely a Christmas movie. I mean, again, a lot of people didn't know this. The guy that played the the black officer in the movie, if y'all go back and watch, what's Fanny his name? Matters, Carl Winslow. He played Carl Winslow in uh. And Family Matters. Oh, he was the he was the he was the, um, he was the main. He was like the captain on there or something. Okay. So, you know, a lot of people didn't know that, but you know, I'm uh, I'm very reserved about movies. You know, like last night, trying to get. Off, I'm not getting off. I don't mean get off subject, but watch one of the greatest westerns. One of my favorite westerns. I like. It's Tombstone. Tombstone. I, I've, I've never actually seen that, but I, I've heard some good things about it. If you ever get a chance, uh, JP, watch it. It's a very good movie. Very, I, I mean, very I, I, Okay, with that, I have one other confession to make, and I know this, this, this is going to make people go, what? But uh, here it is. Um, this is a Christmas special, but here it is. I, I, I have never, I've never seen National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. There, I said it. What? Yes, I've never, I've never, I've never seen it. Honest One of the God. best movies, I, 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 I mean, okay. One of the greatest uh, comedians of our time. Chevy Chase. Oh yeah, I, I agree. Chevy I mean, Chase was I mean, great it, in it, it, uh, Man of the House. I love that movie. I mean, I with mean, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Yes, I mean, but but here he is. I mean, he Saturday Night Live. Um, yeah, he was on night. SNL. Him, John Belushi, um, Dan Aykroyd. He was also in a Hot Tub Time Machine. I've seen uh, Chevy Chase's yeah. work. But that movie has always escaped me. Every time I try to go to watch it on, on TV when it was when I was younger, never got the chance to. When it when when, uh, when Christmas Vacation was you know on a free streaming platform, never got right. to see it. Like I I I've tried so many times to like make it a part. I saw the second one and I didn't like it. Well, they've been the last couple of weeks. They've been playing it on. <sighs> Paramount. Paramount. Okay. Yes, I, I know if you if you got Comcast, you got Paramount. But um, I don't have Comcast anymore. But I got you know I got Dish, and they got you know they got. You no. Know. But anyway, move, moving on. Yo. All right. Take red cheese. See you in hell. See this, bitch. No. Ah, it, son of a. Oh, oh my god! Beautiful. That, that was, was clean. That was a clean counter right there. Oh! Oh, got him! Caught him! Attacking the legs. Ah! See you in hell. Ow! Oh! Oh, what the? Huh? Yo, he jumped over! He jumped over! Yes! I just jumped over the fucking cat. <laughs> oh shit! 
Rest in peace. Yes! Oh shit! Christmas um, meetings. Okay. You know, I know there's okay. a religious aspect in some senses, and then there's a more, you know, uh, more family oriented, traditional sense so you know let i mean we don't have to get all biblical or anything like that but we can at least you know explain to what you know in religious standpoints what people you know you commonly think about we can get into that we can also okay. get into you know how it is uh for people like to come together as one i've heard those uh essences as well in uh christmas spirit so go let's let's do it Okay, I mean, okay, think about it. Every religion has got their own way that they celebrate Christmas. True, true. I um, mean, there's there's Kwanzaa, there's Hanukkah, there's there's plenty with, other with, aspects uh, to, with, to with go Hanukkah into. Hanukkah is a Jewish holiday. Yes. Uh, Kwanzaa, I think it's a I believe Jewish it's a, holiday too. Uh, Kwan, I believe that's African, actually. Kwanzaa. Yes, 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 I'm sorry. You're good. Um, but, <laughs> you know, well, but think about it. Uh, Christmas is a. I think us as a whole of people, mm -hmm. we we forget of what Christmas really, what's what's it all about? Everybody think, oh, it's about gifts. It's about this. It's about, about no. Not about that. Commercialism is disgusting to me. I, I, I've yeah. never been a fan of it. They forget about one thing. Your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's the reason why. And I, that, that's the first thing you should be about Christmas. And I'm sorry if I brought it up. If I oh, somebody, no. I'm, but, uh, no, no, I'm just saying. If, if I offend some of your people, I'm sorry. But I, that's that's my belief. You know, us as Americans, we forget, as us Christians, we forget, you know, about... Um, reason why Christmas is all about, you know, think about it. It was not cold in Bethlehem. I mean, it was not. And think about it. You know, it, that's over there in, um, in the Middle East, so it don't get cold, very cold over there. It gets it's more so hot. Right. So, well, I mean, there is a, a lot to, you know, a lot of discussion about that. And I'm sure one day you're going to come across on your uh, podcast that you want to talk about that. And I'll say it here, you know, I'm, I'm live and this is a Christmas meeting and I'll, I'll go ahead and say it. Yes, I do believe in God. I have my personal beliefs. I do, you know, read the Bible, uh, you know, morning and night or, you know, on, on as much as I possibly can, you know, when I'm not scatterbrained. But I also think back, you know, who my creator and savior is. I do have my beliefs in that. But here's the thing. If that's not your bag, if that's not what you believe in, I have no problem with that. Like, uh, you know, anybody who has different beliefs, whether they're atheist or whether they're Wiccan, whether they believe in, uh, uh, you know, Buddha, whatever. It's all love here, uh, here at the JP pod, you know? Um, and also the CMB knows part of them and we love everybody. You know, and you know, you know, I'm not, I'm not thing. here. I, I, I want to go ahead and, uh, you know, for disclaimer, understand that, um, I wouldn't ever try to force my beliefs on anybody else, but, uh, you know, traditionally there are people that have seen, uh, you know, you know, especially when you live in the Bible Belt states, that's the that's the key word, oh, yeah. Bible Belt states. So typically, you're gonna have a lot of people who do, you know, have their you know Christian beliefs and stuff like that. But if you're if that's not what you do, that that's you know, hey, that's your choice. But moving on, back on to Christmas things, and and uh, okay, JP? here we go. You, you, you see, you see what you see, you see the North American title. Yes, I see my that wife, thing. Yeah, you know, my wife just told me. She said this is my Christmas present and my birthday present. Hey, there. <laughs> so that, <laughs> well, there you go. Um, yeah. I've got mine sitting up on the shelf, and I'm keeping that thing just sitting well, there. You know, I, I keep it in my, you know. In the office here. Uh, 
on 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 my book shit, on my uh, filing cabinet right here. Yep. The, the, you know, this title book, like I said, um, if, if y'all if y'all go back on uh, my podcast, I give the history of the North American title. But uh, that enough said about my the North American title. Let's get back to the theme of Christmas and. Let's get into this podcast, Mr. Uh, JP. Yeah, so um, I was going to go ahead and ask this one question. As a kid, yes, as a kid, I know this I know this is far back and you're probably hardly ever going to remember this kind of thing, but I'm as a kid, to... no, I'm not I'm not razzing you. Don't worry. I'm not I'm not trying to rib or razz, but I'm saying like as a kid when you were a kid, what was one of your desired I know I know, you know, it wasn't about commercialism. You made that very clear mm-hmm. abundantly earlier but what i'm saying is as a kid what was your like favorite gift like your favorite toy growing up mine mm. i mean was it a bb gun was it uh you know some hot wheels i mean no probably it would have been my nintendo the, uh, you know i had one nintendo back in the day when you know the when nes the, first the classic out. yeah <laughs> oh whoa you know um, you know, uh, it wasn't no Madden. It was uh, Tipmo Bowl. Oh, okay. I was the, you know, I was a champion on Tipmo Bowl. I mean, you, I could take the four, I could take the San Francisco 49ers. I could beat any team I wanted. You know. But, okay. How about you, JP? I mean, you, okay. I mean, I mean, I mean thank you. So, so all right. It's not the most favorite uh of movies but i loved the merchandising so keep in mind this was back in 1997 um batman forever uh yes, with val I kilmer val kilmer yes. uh who was it uh chris o'donnell as robin had t- uh, let me let me think jim carrey as the riddler and um Right. Was the penguin in that one? Was it no, um... no, Two Face, Two Face. Was it? It, it wasn't. Who does Schwarzenegger play? He, he played a character. In Mr. Freeze. That that was Batman and Robin. Okay. Um, the the same guy that played in Men in Black as uh, Agent K. What what was? Oh, what's, his, uh, what's the actor's Tommy name? Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones. That's right. Uh, yes. They had him in there, and, and the movie was it, it, it was it was good. But, I mean, you know, it wasn't like Tim Burton, you know. But, uh, speaking of which, Batman Returns, if you look at that, that is also a Christmas movie. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. But back to, as far as your question is concerned, they had um, some really cool figurines back then. And one of the things that uh, I got as a Christmas gift, I believe it was uh, from one of my aunts, um, they got me this cool life-size scale of a um batmobile from the movie batman forever and it, it had like uh it had like a battery operation where you turn it on it would drive by itself it's actually really cool yeah so that one definitely speaks out to me um but back to you know talk about batman uh returns being a christmas movie well you think about it and I'm not just talking about, you know, Christopher Walken being in the movie. Because, you know, that's a treat um, in itself. If you if you don't like Christopher Walken, I, I don't know who you are. Like, Christopher Walken is an icon. It could be a Christmas movie. It also could not be a Christmas movie. And that, that's up to the, the, you know, our viewers. Point. To me, if a Christmas mu- a movie, you know, it falls into that category. Well, Mike Howard. Okay, you bring up an interesting point, but um, exactly uh, what what takes it away from it to be a Christmas movie? I'm I'm just curious. Uh, Is it the demographic the, or? Yeah. Yes. Yes. The demographic of it. It was not. You know. Well. You have. Let let's let's paint the scenery here. You know, this is not one of those type of podcasts right now that is what you would call typically a Christmas thing. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it clean and I'm uh, you know, you know, avoiding swearing a lot, but uh if it happens, it happens. Uh but at the same time as you can see the background is a Christmas theme. And uh that's that's the key. And when it came to Batman Returns, um in the setting of Gotham City, how often did it snow? 
Not often at all. Uh, That's true. At the same time, there was a, like, in the scene where Christopher Walken is trying, uh, he's up on the podium, and he's trying to get, like, these number one votes or whatever as a mayor of some sort. I can't remember his, his role in the movie. But there's, like, literally presents and Christmas trees all around. And then, to top it all off, to top it all off, there's a scene where Michael Keaton, famously, as the uh, as known as Bruce Wayne and Batman, he shows up as Bruce Wayne. He grabs uh, Catwoman's black cat at the end of the movie, brings her into the limo that Alfred is driving. And you hear Alfred go, Merry Christmas, sir. And then Bruce Wayne, Merry Christmas, Alfred. So, case closed. That is a Christmas movie. Now, listen, I know what is and what is not a Christmas movie, but in this day and age... Think about the movie Thanksgiving. If you've ever seen the preview of the movie Thanksgiving, that doesn't seem like your typical Thanksgiving type of movie, but it's based on the time frame and the setting. Uh, however, it is a gore fest from what I've from what I've heard, and you know people have told me it was a great movie. I have yet to see it. Um, I'm debate. I'm kind of debating on whether I want to or not because. It does kind of cross barriers with me on what I do believe, uh, what is Thanksgiving and what is not. But as a filming product, if Die Hard can be a Christmas movie, uh, so can a movie with, you know, a slasher, uh, horror, uh, like grotesque kind of filming be as a Christmas movie as well. Like Black Christmas. You ever seen that? Yeah. That is a horrifying movie. But it is a Christmas-themed movie. But we're going to talk about CMB Knows, and we're going to talk about Bayou Independent Wrestling, and we're going to get to the main attraction of what you'd like to talk about. Go ahead. Are you ready? Uh, like I said, uh, you know, uh, BIW is coming to Fountain Hill on the January 13th. So if you don't have your tickets, they're on sale now. Um, Check them out on call, Twitter and Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, look him up on Facebook. Josh Newsom, he's, he's right there on Facebook. Check him out. Um, you know, he, he'll meet you or tell you, you know, hey, he'll meet you. You know, just bring the money, hey, and he got the uh, tickets for you. Then uh, another show is going to be in the 27th is in Brookhaven. Tickets right, right. Goes on, the, the tickets are on sale now for that show, and the February 3rd show goes on sale at the 29th of December. So I will be at two of them shows, I know. I know I'm going to be at one of the shows, and I'm not going to make the Brookhaven show of uh, work for me, and I can't get it all, so. But that, that, get there. That, that's fine. Uh, but February 3rd, I will be there, and uh, Bam Bam Malone will defend his title Against Moonshine, Ma Ma Marte, uh, Ma Ma Mantel. Y'all don't know, y'all not look this guy up. Look this guy up. This guy's crazy. This guy's one of the best athletes in Texas I've seen. So, I've never said about BIW. Uh, hold up, see. hold up. I, I saw what you tried to do there. I yeah. saw exactly what you tried to do there. You tried to just jump over the. You just had to jump, jump over me. Okay, okay. I see what. I see how it is. I see how it is, Billy. All right. He forgot something, cause it. I mean, if you actually watch the channel on uh, YouTube, um, I'm sorry. We had a Thanksgiving episode, and he said that uh, February third that he uh, that he had me a ticket. I want you to be my guest, one of my guests, at the the, the February third show in West Monroe. At the West Monroe Convention Center, I will have your ticket. I am a sponsor. Uh, CNB knows sponsor as one of the sponsors of BIW. So oh. JP oh, no. will also Hi. be there. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, JP will be there and live in color, if you will. Yeah, we're gonna get uh, cool highlights of uh, Bayou Independent Wrestling. We're gonna see what it's all about. It's a local show in uh, you know the southern states of. Uh, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Arkansas, if I'm not mistaken. 
Uh, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Arkansas, yes. Oh, well, um, never mind Texas. <laughs> but, like I said, um, everybody knows who Tim Storm is. Uh, he's a former NWA champion. Uh, he's, he's still worked for NWA. Uh, he's supposed to be in... Um, he was a wrestler with Frankie Thomas in Fount Hill, but due to his contract negotiation uh, with uh, a um, NWA, he cannot make the trip. So Josh has pulled one of his people out of the out of hat. Deal the sale the soul, a former AEW star would be in um, Fount Hill. So, uh, Sally Lynn is, uh, Sally's Madhouse has joined us here on the podcast. Hello there. He's saying hello. Hi. Um. How you doing, Sally? What are you doing? I wanted to say hi to Billy. Well, you know I'm recording live, right? That's nice. Yes. <laughs> Yes, you have to wear your hat. I don't have a Santa hat. I'm sorry. I'm trying to close this up. <clears throat> okay. I can't close this up. She's interfering in my video. <gasps> I will leave. I did. Oh. Thank you. <clears throat> so... I that was an awkward timing because I was just about to wrap this up. That was uh, Sally's Madhouse. Um, and uh, with that being said, we've already heard about Bayou Independent Wrestling. We've already heard about CMB Knows. Check them out on YouTube. That is Billy of CMB Knows. But now we're going to take a moment. I want you to mute your mic. And I'm going to mute mine. And we're about to see a highlight and we're going to talk about that highlight here we go vcw virtual championship wrestling will be relaunching and uh things are going to be changing as some people know wwe 2k22 is their servers are going to be obsolete in january 4th of 2024 so everybody is uh is available on 2k22 platform so that being said dr graves is going to be there uh kaito shirai is going to be there returning stars like uh Katsuyori is going to be there. And there's going to be some other wild stars. Like, if you, I don't know if you saw the preview or not, but Rosemary from TNA Impact is going to be there. Uh, freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy is going to be on the show. Um, it's, it's going to be an open, diverse universe mode from this point on. VCW is not just going to have two brands. It's going to be a one in whole brand. Kind of similar to what AEW is doing. But um, hopefully we get better views than they do. Um, but yeah, it's going to have people from New Japan Pro Wrestling. Uh, Zack Sabre Jr. He's going for the television t title. Uh, and, uh, and a championship match against uh, the champion... Uh, Zach King. We're going to have uh, the tag team champions of Madhouse and All-Stars take on each other uh, to become the undisputed tag team champions. New belts uh, are showcased in that video, if you saw. Uh, also, for the main event, it'll be a last man standing match between Dr. Graves and Lou Screw uh formerly known as Justin Lewis uh on on the uh on on the game of course uh, but he will be facing Dr. Graves in a last man standing match for the uh, let's see if I can say this the right way the VCW prestigious undisputed world heavyweight championship 
both titles, the Madhouse and All Stars titles, will be completely obsolete. And I don't know why I did that, but we're just gonna roll with it. But yeah, more more's coming as well. Uh, we're doing a 30-man Royal Rumble, so you may see the likes of Kenny Omega. You might see the likes of uh, Tr Crazy Steve from Impact Wrestling. You might see Keith Lee. You might see Swerve Scott. It's a 30-man Royal Rumble. Uh, and speaking of Royal Rumble, ha uh, WWE is having their Royal Rumble uh, in January. So we're going to just start off in early presentation. Cruiserweight champion Kaito Shirai will be taking on Katsuyori Yamamoto. He'll be taking on uh, Isaiah the Savage. And he'll be taking on Shannon Nit uh, Nitro. So, a lot in store for uh, the WWE 2K22 platform that is VCW Virtual Championship Wrestling. I think I've kept up uh, enough of your time, folks. Uh, I don't know where Billy just went. I'm seeing an Elvis picture and some other <laughs> stuff. but uh, Oh. Well, you, the Elvis Presley is there, so we might as well talk about it. Uh, and I'm sure another Christmas carol that you enjoy, well, Christmas song, is uh, Blue Christmas. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's a good song. Oh, Blue Christmas one, um, one, you know, one of my favorite uh, songs by Elvis. Um, I have uh, some uh, favorite Christmas uh, songs that I like as well. We're going to uh, sign off on here. With that being said, y'all, uh, for YouTube viewers, this has been Unique Persona 13 featuring my good friend here, Billy from CMB Knows. Till next time. So long, everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.